What's up everyone, this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United news today and I've got three pieces of information to share with you guys. One being, which you can see on the screen, Juan Mata has signed a new contract until June 2021 with the option to extend for a further year. So, and then we talk about some Paul Pogba transfer latest news and a potential uh, alternative to one Bissaka, which is which is towards the end of the video, so we'll come back to it. So, as you guys know, that Juan Mata was uh, available for a free transfer. His contract does expire end of this month, I believe. Um, there were reports that he had, sorry, he had held discussions with Barcelona earlier in the season, but I don't think anything materialized. But um, he has finally um, signed a contract with Manchester United. Um, and I'll give you some of my thoughts around there. My thinking around Juan Mata signing is how far we have fallen to get rid of our sort of like a tradition, you can say, of offering players who are over the age of 30 more than a year's contract. And we have done that with Juan Mata. So it just shows that where we are in the transfer market and our mentality. Mata, let's, 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 let me get it straight to you guys. Mata is a fabulous fabulous um, person he is likable he is a great role model for everyone in the club especially the youth I just hope that we didn't we didn't give him a contract which is uh, over over a year with an option to expand so you're looking at three years contract to be play play above even above 70 percent of our games because he is way past it he's age is showing his legs are getting tired his passing rate is fantastic you know if he was a central midfielder then we could have transformed him into what Carrick did for us towards his last few years at United which is just to sit back and spray the ball but he's not a central midfielder he's an attacking midfielder to convert him to a defensive midfielder or deep line playmaker you can say it's, it's not going to work with him um, I don't feel comfortable with this to be honest I feel comfortable if he's just there in the background and play the odd game here and there and just to get the youth rolling with his mentality and being a club ambassador you can say because he's such a nice person but I don't agree with the fact that if he's going to play more than 70% of our games or around that then it is a problem that's my thoughts with this particular contract extension with Mata let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think do you feel he deserves a, a contract a long contract in in his age it is a long contract it's not a small contract and also do you feel that him being around will have a positive impact in the dressing room and if you was the manager of manchester united are you going to be starting him given what the the, the squad size and the squad that we got are you going to be starting him that's my phone sorry should have turned that off but anyway that's that Let's move straight on to Paul Pogba. So according to some reports and sources, obviously I've covered the Paul Pogba news the last few days. If you go back to my channel, you'll see that he has given a verbal transfer request, you can say. But um, it, this is quite a surprising one, to be honest. There's reports going around that Paul Pogba wants to return to Juventus and United are holding out for a big money. Now, obviously, Real Madrid are in the mix, but I don't understand why he will go back to Juventus. You know, he's been there. He's pretty much won everything there is to win, except the Champions League. Um, they have Ronaldo on big wages. They have Pogba potentially on big wages. So, I don't know about this report, to be honest. It doesn't make sense for him to go to Juve. I mean, it makes sense for him to go to Madrid. But Madrid have spent so much money that they got to offload players first. Now, if they were to offer us some of their players, example, Asensio, Isco, you know, we need that sort of type of player. Well, you know, now that Mata's staying, I'm not sure if we need it, but we still need it. Then maybe we can consider a deal, which will be getting a lot of money out of him. Now, he can be doing it for a contract. There was some reports that he's doing that for a contract, but you, there's different ways to go about it. The fact that he came out and said that he needs, he's ready for a new challenge is pretty much saying to everyone at Manchester that I want to go. He could have worded it differently. Simple as that. Or he could have kept it in the background. Spoke to Woodward and Oli directly. Like, look, give me, give me a new contract rather than make a huge fuss in social media. That's why I feel he, he needs to go. He's such a talented player. But 
As somebody said in the comment section in my previous videos, forgive me if I can't remember your name, but you know who you are. World class player with a crappy world class mentality, you know, weak. And that's what exactly he is. Clearly a talent, but his mentality is like a puppet, isn't it? Uh, you know, someone's pulling his strings and he, that's it. It's simple as that. If he wants a new challenge, then he should be staying here, bring, you know, taking, owning the games, you know. He hasn't done that yet. The only game for me personally, I remember him actually owning the games and standing out in the last three years. I'm sure most of it, most of you guys will agree as well. Is the Man City game where we made a comeback three two. Remember, he scored two goals. You know, imagine him doing that on a weekly basis, like all world class players do. You know, even on the bad day, they make an impact. We would not be in the situation we are in. We spent a lot of money on this guy. He's he's won the World Cup. Obviously, France have a squad. Even the second squad will walk into most of the teams in the world. So why isn't he showing at Manchester United? It's as simple as that. It's it's not good enough. And the report coming out that he will, will prefer to join Juventus doesn't make sense for me. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think he should stay? Do you think going back to Juventus will be the right move for him personally? Even though I don't really care where he goes, as long as we get a big chunk of fee out of him and we invest correctly. Um, and let's move on to the last bit of news that I'm going to cover today, which is Manchester United stepping up uh, Max Aaron's interest. Now, obviously, I've reported yesterday that one Bissaka, you know, £50 million for one Bissaka has been rejected by Crystal Palace allegedly this week. £50 million is a lot of money in itself. For them to be rejecting that amount of money clearly means that they want more. Why would they reject it? One Bissaka is not world class. He probably has the potential to become world class, but 50, 60 million pound plus for right back. You can get ready made players for that, you know? Diego Dalot is, is younger, young, isn't it? If he was me, Diego Dalot, what, 20, 21? If I'm going to spend 60, 70 million pound on, on a right back, I will go hands on balls to um, get a proper world class right back. 40, 50, 60, 70 million pound. Who's, who's at the age of 27, 28? And that will allow Diego Dalot to kind of give him time to develop isn't it now max arons is a player who's not no which is a efl player of the season and he has been identified as a backup option it doesn't make sense to me in a sense that it's not as if we have a unless we're counting ashley young i'm not even counting ashley young we just have diego dalla who's who's young himself he needs the guidance he can't perform um, possibly at his age every week in week out he can't certainly play 50 plus games 40 plus games on his own so we need a nice backup. But Diego Dalot is only young and he hasn't got the mental attribute to be uh, like a Delhi who can play and control things around him and has uh, is years ahead of his age. It doesn't make sense. Max Aaron's coming in. We, we, we have two right backs who is clearly too young and, you know, they can't really learn from each other. They're still on learning phase unless they're learning from Ashley Young. God forbid that. I don't think Ashley Young is a good role model. He has more bad games than anyone else so i'm not going to get into that but in terms of this player apparently he's both footed which is fantastic he can play on the left and right back and he is a young talent he's only like 18 or 19 or something like that he's an extremely young talent and he will definitely be well below 50 million pound for sure good bet you know bring him in i reckon we should bring him in because he can play on both sides he can play on left and right back but also bring in someone else because let's face it Luke Shaw is injury prone. Diego Dalot is young. Ashley Young is old. He's crap. Who else do we have? Realistically, what are the left and right back options we have? Valencia's gone, even though he wasn't even playing most of the games. Damien is pff, not even is he even in the club yet. Still, so investing in in a young talent is good for the future, but also invest in a proven talent. You know, that's what I will say. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on the comments below. Do you think that Manchester United is? targeting the right sort of players do you think that we need another young right back left back and do you know this guy how how good is he personally for me i can only go by his stats and youtube videos i haven't seen him play i play football manager i know he's in the game and he's sought after but do you think he's a talent let me know you know educate me let me know guys and um you know make sure you smash the like button you know i appreciate everyone that's all stopping by and showing me the support and I enjoy doing these videos. I'm a huge United fan. But um, I'll catch you guys in the next upload.